Hi everyone, it's B Divine again here. Um, for this is another instalment of frequently asked questions for love and relationships. And I do apologise that this is coming to you guys a little bit late today. Um, I had one of those days where everything was happening all at once, and I ended up going and getting my hair cut, and it took longer than I thought, and it was lovely. I will leave a link for you guys um, to go to this lovely salon and have your hair cut. Those guys just really looked after me and um, it was a wonderful experience. I had a great time. Um, so that's what I was doing this afternoon. I was sitting in there getting my hair done and it looks a little bit dark here but it's a little bit lighter than it really looks in the camera. But anyway, I wanted to get to um, my dear friend, uh, the Crystal Sea Angel. I really wanted to get to her um, question today and um, what is it? It's how to heal from a karmic relationship where um, you are, have been in love with this person um, but it only seems to be a physical type of thing so um, what she was explaining is that this person um, gives her a call every time that he just wants to be physical um, with her and it makes it very difficult because there's feelings involved and this is the whole point of the um, learning what a karmic relationship is when you can see that it is only something uh, only one part of the entire you know spectrum of being in love there's only one part there that um, you are feeling then then you already know that it is wrong for you and um, in this particular case this lady is not silly she understands that um, you know this person is not right but at the same time it still hurts when um, you know you, you realize deep down inside yourself that all they really want from you is something physical or all they really want from you um, is your money or just you know they want you to listen to their problems and things like this so how do we get away from it and you know the biggest thing is that you have to um, really put them out of the picture um, when you are you know getting constant emails and this that and the other part of you enjoys getting the attention from this person because after all that was what you wanted in the first place you know you wanted to hear from them you wanted to spend time with them you felt that there could be something more in your relationship and then it turns out that you know they're really only selfish and have selfish needs and um, this is something that you really have to address to yourself and work out okay um, you know I'm not going to be treated like that anymore and I really feel that um, this lady that we're talking about is over that part of it but she still has um, you know for a long time you'll still be confused about it and um, you know if especially if the person is continually um, you know calling you and emailing you when they're starting to feel that you are backing away one thing is um, one thing that used to happen to me also is when I would work out that a guy was actually using me um, that looks like it's happening here using me for one reason or the other by the time I would actually pull myself right away and be mad enough not to answer any of their promptings or any of their calls or any of their messages that would actually make it worse and um, you know this person would notice that the power was gone you know you've withdrawn your personal power from them and they're like hang on where are you what are you doing and I feel that a lot of times in um, a karmic relationship um, one partner is always more involved than the other one and the one that's you know seems to be in control of the whole situation when you finally get your goat up and you go no I've had enough of this they're like wow suddenly you know this is all missing and they are actually missing you and realizing hang on you are not going to be there well you know it might actually make them think that they want to have a relationship with you because they don't want to lose that feeling of what it's like when you're there and so in reality in a karmic relationship like this when when you know deep in your heart that it's not right then it really is up to you to keep away from the person never respond to any of their communications you know be straight up front with them you know obviously say no this is not acceptable behavior I'm not going to be available to you anymore and um, sorry leave me alone as much as it hurts you you know as much as it's painful because I understand that I don't know this whole situation but my feeling is that there was a lot of good points to this person and there is a lot of potential there for it to be a wonderful relationship however this person is still too selfish this person is is still too um, one-minded and thinks they can do better you know let's face it anybody who um, does not share the same um, love that you have for them and um, you know is only giving you so much is is really thinking to themselves 
I have done so well here. I have got this girl here and you know she is available to me and you know I can do better. And that is not your fault. And you know what? Let them try. <laughs> Let them see if they can do a little bit better than you. But you know for certain, you know, that what you're worth and you know for certain what you're really looking for. And in reality, this person who is only halfway, halfway near enough, you know, right for you, correct for you, you know, it's just not going to be it. And uh, as much as that hurts you, you will heal a lot quicker uh, the sooner you um, don't even, you know, you're going to have to change your emails, maybe you change your phone numbers or whatever. Um, I also knew that there was some other people in, that go in these positions that will still ask their friends, oh, what are they doing, you know? What is such and such up to? What are, you know, is he chasing somebody else or whatever? And, you know, if they're not going to treat you correctly, it's probably going to be quite a while before they treat anybody correctly. So just never think that it's your fault if you are in a karmic relationship and it's not working out. Now, never think that it's your fault. It is nobody's fault, really. It is just a connection that you have had. You guys have looked at each other and said, you know, wow, um, there is something there. What is it? You know, you can feel this power. And that is the power of a, a karmic relationship because in a past life, you guys have been together for whatever reason. It might have been, you know, that it was a um, ter terribly horrible, you know, situation. And so here you are going, wow, I can feel this connection. What is it? And, you know, all that needed to happen was that you, you know, looked at each other and the karma was balanced. I was actually only just talking about this today with um, the lady that was doing my hair, <laughs> of all things. But, you know, that's, that's what it is all about. And... Um, you just have to realize that, um, yes, this person may work things out in the future and get their act together. And you know what? By the time they're actually ready to be in a relationship with you, it's um, too little too late. Um, you have to really accept that, you know, you know what you are worth, that the right person is going to be worth waiting for. In fact, you know, um, sometimes it might be worth waiting the rest of your life um, to have someone for 10 years or something of total bliss and it was worth it for you. So, you know, there are ways around healing um, and getting away from this, but you have to be really, really strong. Um, no more phone calls, no more listening to the email. Don't even read the emails. Don't subject yourself to um, any further hurt because you let them back in and um, they're not they're not going to be um, what you think. They're not going to be um, ready for those things still. Um, you know, a lot of times, even with myself, um, this same thing would happen to me. I'd be like, well, but, you know, this guy, he's really, really great, and he does all these things, but he really only wants one thing from me, you know, like, uh, what do I do, you know? I still really want to talk to this person, and you have to, for your own sake, um, realize that it is what it is, and I know that you know that, and um, it does take a little bit of time, but you have to save yourself all the drama um, by pulling right away from it and not allowing it to affect you anymore. Asking for a healing from this, you know, asking for guidance from the angels to help this and help you to move forward to a, a brighter and better future. And so, um, my dear friend, the Crystal Sea Angel, I hope that this has helped you. And for anybody else that is um, listening and watching today, um, please, if you have a question about love and relationships, I'm more than um, willing to help you guys. Um, alternatively, I am back um, at Divine Miracles on the 2nd of May. And there is going to be some changes to the readings, to the personal readings. Um, but still, um, I offer, you know, one question for $5, which is pretty good cheap I think and also if you haven't had a free reading from me I do offer a free um, personal reading from me where you ask me a question and I email you a response um, and it's also got some uh, angel advice in there, there as well and alternatively um, if you guys really like having a video a video reading is wonderful and um, I really get to talk and explain things to you and I found that it's just um, a really really great way to um, give someone a lot of detail detail in, in a reading and um, get a special closeness because um, I can just talk to you personally and it's really really nice. Um, so yeah I'll leave the links to those things under there and also remember that I'm at Facebook if you need um, to quickly get a hold of me in some way I, I try my best to get back to you guys as quick as I can at least let you know that I've received your, your message and um, 
you know, that's only that's what you should do anyway. Um, just at least acknowledge somebody. Um, and yeah, and please check out my website. Uh, it has tons and tons of advice and articles, and also keep your requests coming, guys. If you if you want to um, hear about anything or you want me to show you something or whatever it is, um, this is this channel is for um, all of you and those who are relating to me and resonating with me. And um, you know, this is it. So it's all about you guys. So um, make it your own, and um, don't don't be afraid to um, ask if you want to learn about something. And so um, that is it for me. I uh, will be back with uh, Domino Angels on the second of um, oh the third of May actually on the Tuesday. Uh, we'll have another instalment of Domino Angels, and I've missed it, and um, I hope you guys have missed it too. Um, and I really hope that you've been watching the um, the May predictions as well. That was very important. And um, yeah, so that is it until next week when there is another little segment on frequently asked questions about love and relationships. And I will see you on Tuesday for Domino Angels. So until then, everybody, it's bye from me. Bye. <laughs> see you later.